Hi, if this video is from interview.com, interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post a resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 basic Java interview questions. What is the difference between interfaces and abstract class? Abstract class have a body, whereas interfaces just have the methods and static member declarations. Abstract class is like if, if the concrete class has common behaviors, you can push those common behaviors to the abstract class and you can make the specific class or concrete class to write methods only for those for the uh, concrete behaviors so common behaviors will be moved to abstract class and whereas interfaces if there are no common behavior between the concrete classes you can keep it as interface explain constructor it's an operation that initializes the object it's a block of code which is executed at the time of object creation so constructors has the same na name as that of the class class name so whenever you create an object this constructor will be called mainly uh, constructors are used to construct the object if there is any state required to uh, during the initialization of the object those code will be placed in the constructor what is dynamic binding association of a function called to function definition during runtime so uh, overriding will uh, overriding concept will help in dynamic binding so based on the object invoked the method will be the method call will be land in that particular method um, based on the object invoked so dynamic binding uh, it's like association of function call to function definition during the runtime what is a use of volatile keyword volatile is a declaration that a variable can be accessed by multiple threads and hence shouldn't be cached so shared variable among multiple threads explain serialization serialization is like it's a process of storing a state of an object in a flat file or in a database or another medium or even tra traversing through the wire you can send through the wire you need serialization so storing the state of an object in a file or database or another medium is called a serialization deserialization is from the uh, from the stream of bytes to again uh, converting into back converting back to object so that i can use inside the jvm hope this video is useful thank you and all the best